So, I love to eat and I love to snack and I tried to find a healthier snack option so I ended up finding Healthy Me Living and this is their Love Corn. It's basically kind of like corn nuts. And then we've got some dry roasted edamame. We also have Tosi. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that brand but they, it's their Cashew Coconut Super Bites. I don't quite know how healthy this is, but we have some Annie's Cheddar Bunnies. Then we have a Freedom Raisin Almond Bar. Next we have an Enviro Kids Crispy Peanut Butter Rice Bar. Here we have a Health Warrior Chia Bar, and it's got coconut in it. This snack is Bobby Sue's Nuts, and the flavor is sesame, poppy, onion, and garlic. Here we have some mini cookies, and these are in snickerdoodle flavor. And last is Pop Chips, and this is their sea salt flavor. The mini cookies were the first thing that I had and they were a little bit dry and just uh, not something I would purchase again on my own. They weren't so bad that I couldn't finish the very small bag but I just wouldn't, I'm not a fan. These were really, really good. I immediately ordered some from Bobby Sue's website. They're a little bit pricey. They're $10 each for, I think it was an eight ounce mason jar and there's shipping and everything. So I only ordered two jars, and but the, I ordered this flavor and then I ordered a Parmesan flavor, but they it was worth every penny. This was pretty good. It was a little on the smaller side, or maybe I just wanted more of it, um, but it was nice and crispy and des definitely satisfies that need to crunch on something. I usually prefer to crunch on chips, but bringing chips into this house is dangerous. It doesn't matter how big the bag is, they're gone very quickly. This was another really good one. Actually, um, going through these empties reminded me that I actually want more of these, um, so I'm going to look them up and place an order and hopefully, you know, can get a small box or something. They were crunchy, they had a great barbecue flavor, and this pack is only 90 calories. I feel like pop chips are already pushing the boundaries between health and junk food, but there's nothing healthy about these cheddar bunnies. They're delicious, but labeling them as organic doesn't really make crackers healthy. But like I said, they taste good. They they taste like off-brand goldfish in the sense that they don't taste exactly like them and I'm sure they're not meant to but that is basically the only thing I have to compare them to. This bar is in raisin and almond flavor. It was okay. I like the concept and that it only has four ingredients but maybe I might like other flavors better. It reminds me of those that's it bars and those I do like. I didn't take notes so I'm reviewing these snacks from memory and I don't remember disliking this but I also don't remember being like oh my god this is the best thing since sliced bread so maybe I thought this was just okay. I don't have kids so I ate this and it was good. Um, if you've ever eaten plain rice cakes it tastes like a more flavorful version of those because it's peanut butter flavored. I only wouldn't buy it again because well I'm not six and the name and the panda as cute as it is doesn't really appeal to me as a 26 year old. So as you can probably guess because some of these are still sitting in the pack neither myself nor Graham was a fan of these. Um, they just they said they have sea salts on them but they really don't. They don't taste like anything. They're just, they're more of a disappointment than a snack. There's just no flavor to them. Pop chips are apparently made by taking potatoes, adding heat and pressure and letting them pop. And so they're a little bit thicker or puffier than the average potato chip, but they were really good. They had a decent amount of salt on them, but not too much. And they're something I've purchased full size versions of several times since receiving that small bag.